Okay, we're leaving the radio observatory. Um, we are gonna head toward the Indian cave and it's super hot. Even though it rained, it didn't really cool anything off. It just made it more sticky. We are gonna look up the directions and then we'll be on our way. Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. I really like all of the random art that is in each little town. I think that we're actually entering into the Arecibo area right now. And Arecibo so far is my favorite place on the island. Ideally, I would really like to have like a tiny house and live there a couple months out of the year and then rent it out the rest of the time, but that's probably a distance in the future, like a way away from now. <laughs> I spotted a hammock lady on the side of the road, so Chris pulled over so that we could find out about these hammocks. For the life of me, I could not pronounce this. And I'm like, how am I going to know what she says back to me? Like, I don't speak Spanish. I don't understand it. If she tells me it's going to be like a certain amount of money, I have no idea what she's telling me it is. Like, I needed Rosie. All right, well, how much is it? One, two, case. One, two, case. Uh, Nikasa. One, two, case. Okay. How much is it cost? Yes, two, two, just say go to Crystal. Lady said it was gonna be sixty five dollars and I was like, No, that's too much and then she said, uh, I can do it for fifty and I was like, mm. I don't know let me talk to my husband so Chris and I are like we can find it for cheaper I wish I would have just bought the damn hammock because we did not find it for cheaper but here's our conversation So this is the Arecibo Lighthouse. We didn't get out of the car, we just looked at it from the car. Well here's a familiar sight, all of the waves on the coastline. A lot of these buildings around here are abandoned. These are the buildings that I was talking about earlier when I said I would like to maybe get one and try to rebuild it or do maybe a tiny house around here or something like that. Uh, the problem is, is the salt water seems to erode everything and it has really eroded these buildings and it's kind of sad in a way, I mean, because people have obviously lost their homes, but I mean, it's a lot of upkeep to live on the water. Okay, we have arrived to the Indian cave. Um, I just want to make a note right here as far as how much it costs. We are going to put on our tennis shoes and get ready to hike. These rocks are like really sharp and like they're no joke. They're definitely, uh, you need to wear tennis shoes with them. I'll just say that. 